Hey guys, welcome back. This is another review, but before I start the review talk, I just wanna give a reason why I'm reviewing this figure. So as those of you who may have watched my Marvel Legends Civil War Spider-Man review know, I was quite ill about a week or, week or so ago, depending on when this video goes out. I was in hospital and stuff, and things got a bit hairy and blah, 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 blah. Long story short, I'm okay, I'm here now. But there are some guys in the community who showed some incredible generosity to me, like the likes of Connor Fuller, Jared Kane, and yet yesterday, just yesterday, maybe, well, it won't be yesterday by the time you watch this, but uh, the other day I arrived home to an, uh, a mystery box and I was like, what the hell, I'm not expecting anything. And it had Big Bang Comics on the side and I thought, they sent me out stuff about an hour ago, how is it here? But anyway, long story short, I opened the box and there was this awesome G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Officer figure, which I do not have. And right beside that, there was this, a letter, and this figure came from one Jonathan Redmond. So Jonathan, I thank you very much for this, as I have, not in person, but in personal message, private message or whatever, DMs, whatever they call them now. Uh, I did thank you already for this, but I wanted to get it out there and just show, like, tell everyone the generosity of some people in this community. And there was a letter in it, and I'm going to read it. Sorry, Jonathan. Uh, it does say, Hi, Brian, just a little something as a joint welcome home and get better soon figure. Hope you're back to 100% soon. Take it easy, mate. Jonathan. Stuff like this, like, <laughs> it hurts me a little bit. Uh, not, not, not in a bad way, but, like, it's, it's, it's amazing. What people, what your stuff, you know, when you make friends through this medium, it's, it's wild. I tell you that, like, I have made loads of friends through just making videos, just talking about action figures and stuff like that. And I know it's online, but I do plan to meet these people in real life as well. Um, but the way things can happen when you were just making videos through your hobby and stuff, and like-minded folk and all that, it's just amazing. So yeah, thank you guys your support during that ordeal as well was massive and kept me going some days so yeah on with uh, the review of the G.I. Joe Cobra Officer so let's check out the box for the G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Officer and as you can see from just looking look at the amount of accessories he comes with so many and uh, he's got stuff here too and the face like I'm going to show the the face better in when I'm actually looking at the figure, but the face, he looks really, really angry. Uh, this artwork as well is absolutely beautiful. It's very, I'm gonna get hate for this. It's very SS or something like that. Like these guys really do look like bad guy army people. Um, yeah. Uh, on the side, you've got number 37. You've got all these like things that he's good at that you can check on the GI Joe website. Again, you've got this awesome picture. Again, I would love an actual proper poster of this or something to put up somewhere. You've got all your uh, legalese down here. On the back, you've got him again doing that pose. It's just, yeah, somebody somebody else commented and tell me what they think of this pose here, like because it's very on the nose. <laughs> on the top, you've got the Cobra signal and number 37 again. And on the bottom, you've got more legalese. So let's get this fella out of the box. So here is the Hasbro G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Officer on display. And one thing I noticed straight away, I've got a couple of the different uh, variations of Cobra Troopers. And this one stands out straight away because of that Cobra logo on the chest. It's silver and the mark on his mask as well. This guy looks like somebody who's actually important and I really, really like him. It's class to have another variation of this figure. And like, if I was an army builder, I would be so broke because these figures are absolutely brilliant. All the stuff they come with, which I'm gonna look at in a sec. And just the general demeanor on their faces. They look, these guys look pissed off. And that's exactly how they should look when the Joes come invading their home and stuff. So I really, really like this figure. So let's get down and look at all the bits and pieces he does come with. So as is the norm with these Cobra Troopers, he does come with quite the array of accessories. 
So let's start from left to right. I think this is what they call a Mauser pistol. Now I could be very, very wrong. I'm just guessing from my various times on Call of Duty and stuff like that. But uh, this pistol is really, really nice. It is very different looking as well. And if you can see, I don't know if the camera will catch it, but there is like a little Cobra logo on the hilt of the pistol as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, such great detail and all the stock, the whole lot. It's just class. He does come, now here's where it gets tricky for me. I'm not sure if this is a shotgun or what the hell it is, but there is a clip here for, I presume like bullets to go in and stuff. And uh, it does look really, really nice. Another class weapon. And then onto this, which looks like to me an AK-47. Um, I have no idea really. There is an extra bit, a sight. That came separate as well. And I love that there's a hole in all the guns for if you could get um, blast effects and stuff, you can stick them on there. The clip does come out. The weapon is so cool. Now there is, this will go on his back for you to stick. I think it's the AK in here, you know, I'm not sure. But yeah, the AK will go in here like, like that if you take out the clips and go on his back, which is really cool. Now obviously you have to take out this and you take off that, the sight, for it to work. There is another spare clip as well. And he does come with a knife. So like, I'm pretty sure a lot of these will go on his person, but I'm not sure. So let's do that together as I look at the figure. So here we are, finally looking at the figure. Now, as I said, I mean, forgot to mention in the accessories part, the helmet does come off as well. And that's another accessory. So you can either leave that on, stick it off, whatever. Whatever you wanna do, you can do it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go around and show you where all these accessories go. So he does have a holster for the knife on his thigh, on his left thigh. I had to double check there because I'm not that bright. He does have a holster for the pistol. There is loads of spaces. I really shouldn't have done this on camera. Should have so yeah, I had to take a break and actually try and really put in those weapons properly. If I'd have left the camera rolling, we'd still be here hours later. But yes, does kind of fit everything. He does kind of fit everything on. Um, I'm a bit dubious about this clip going on here. It doesn't look right. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. But everything else, so you have the knife goes on here. You have the pistol goes in there. This goes on the back in a holster. You've got the little like scope, flashlight, whatever it is goes in here with the greatest of difficulty. It was so annoying to get that in. Uh, the clip goes in there. So he does hold everything on him. So that's pretty impressive, like most Joes. Again though, this doesn't look right to me. I don't think that's right. But anyway, that's besides the point. He is a fantastic figure. I am so, so lucky to have gotten him. Um, thanks again to Jonathan Redmond for that. Now to look across, he's got all his like packed pouches and straps and stuff, and he really, really looks good. Um, he does have the kind of gray. Now this was red in the other figures, red and black, I believe. Yeah, it was red on the other figures. And yeah, it just gives him an air of authority, I think, compared to the other ones. Now articulation, he does have butterfly joints. He does have double jointed elbows bicep swivels. There is a swivel at the wrist here as well, which is new, I think. There's two swivels, at the one at the wrist and one at the forearm where the glove starts, which is really, really cool. He does have, he does have, hold on, I'll move some of the weapons because they just get in the way sometimes. There is some waist movement here. There is an ab crunch. Legs go up that far. Again, just be careful of the knife and stuff. He has drop down hips, which can be annoying at times. He does have tight swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankle rockers, and up and down at the ankles. So he is heavily articulated, you might say. Um, yeah, this figure is fantastic. Now, what I want to show you is this. Here is the other Cobra figures that have, the other troopers that have been released. And as you can see, they're all very, very similar. But there is subtle differences. 
Of course, the first two are the same. These two are the same, but different. So this is the Cobra, the Target exclusive ones, Cobra Troopers. This one is the Cobra, uh, Cobra Infantry is this one. And this is the Cobra Officer. So it's great to have like four troopers now. I've never really, oh, I've never really army built before, <laughs> but this is, I suppose is close. Of course, they all have like the flak jackets. Uh, this guy doesn't, like bulletproof jacket. But this guy definitely looks like more of a superior to these guys. So yeah, stick him in front of that troop and you've got yourself a little SWAT team or a little army there. So yeah, guys, I'm very, very happy with this figure. Again, thank you once again to Jonathan Redman for sorting it out for me. You are a legend amongst men. And yeah, so this will be going in my uh, Cobra Trooper army. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. And if you want, this review is over, but there will be pictures at the very end of this guy in action. So I hope you'll check those out. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a great day. Yojo. Bye.